my name's Ben, and today we're going to talk about muscle contractions. So we've got three types, concentric, eccentric, and isometric. So step one, for a muscle contraction, we need to have tension in the muscle. If I just bend my arm like this, there's no tension in this muscle here, so it wasn't a muscle contraction. So our first contraction is going to be concentric. Concentric is when there's tension in the muscle, and the muscle shortens. So again, my bicep, I pull, the muscle shortens, concentric contraction. If I lower my arm back down, it's not my opposite muscle, my tricep, that's pulling me down, but rather gravity and the weight of my arm is bringing the arm down. So the muscle at top, biceps, is contracting to slow the movement down. So that's an eccentric contraction. Tension in the muscle, and the muscle lengthens. And then our last type of contraction is isometric. So iso means same. So this is where there's tension in the muscle, but the length of the muscle or the joint angle doesn't change. So if I just hold my arm here, gravity is going to want to force it down, but it stays there because this muscle, my biceps, is holding it there. That's an isometric contraction. Another example, if we're looking at the elbow again, so we talked about when we flex the elbow, the biceps has tension, it shortens, that is a concentric contraction. But if I put my arm above my head, and now I flex my elbow, it's not my biceps that's contracting and shortening, because if it was, I'll be smashing my head. What's actually happening is my triceps is contracting to slow down the movement against gravity. So in this position, my there's no tension in my biceps, there's tension in my triceps, so therefore the contraction is a triceps contraction, and it's lengthening, so that's eccentric, whereas here, the biceps was contracting and it was shortening, so concentric. You can think of a muscle like a rubber band. It can pull, but it can't push. If we pull on that rubber band, it's just like the muscle. There's tension and movement, concentric. If there's tension on the band and the force is greater than it can hold, then it'll lengthen, so that's our eccentric contraction. And then if there's tension on the band and it's holding and not moving, that's our isometric contraction. So when we're thinking about our three types of contractions, we gotta think what muscle is moving? What muscle has tension in it? And then is it shortening, lengthening, or staying the same? Muscles can only pull, hold, or slow down movement. They can't push. Have fun, team.